Hi and welcome to Leah's Figures. So today I'm not quite doing an unboxing, uh, it's more focused on a review side of things. Um, I will quickly, so you can see this is the Mary Sautome uh, figure by Maithos, which had quite a bit of controversy regarding it because of the way her face is. Um, I have Celestia at the back because I want to point something out with these figures, um, but first I'll go through the box. So. Um, the box is fairly standard, my ethos. Um, plastic, has the, the logos of the school uh, playing cards down the side, because obviously it's based on gambling. Uh, we have a sticker. I did get the Chinese version, which is why I have this early. So please don't ask me where I bought it from. It's from Taobao. It's from the official my ethos Taobao store. So I got it. I paid for the final payment on the 31st of May. I had her by the 18th of June, I think, something like that. So I've had her, it might be the 24th of June, and she shipped on the 18th. Either way, I've had her about a week or so. She is shipping from Japan, Japanese stores around the 20th of July, which is why I'm trying to do this now. Work has been very hectic and my headphones broke, so I haven't had time to do this properly. Um, and understandably, I wanted to open her up. I wasn't just gonna sit and wait. Um, so there are two layers to this, and it has a similar box to Celestia's actually. So the stand comes in, in separated, as you can see here, um, and there are holes at the back for it. So if you are going to have her flat, you put these the other way around, so the curve is on the outside, but to stand her up you have it this way. So, the thing that I wanted to point out which is something that both of these figures have in common. Now, my ethos have done this in a kind of clever way. I'm actually gonna just pull off my uh, phone one sec. Okay, so sorry if this is a bit shaky. I'll try my best to keep my hands steady. My ethos have done this in a kind of clever way, where if you look at this from the angle it's meant to be viewed from, it's perfect. But the more you actually look at her head on, her eyes look off. And that's because it's particularly supposed to be used, viewed from the side. They've made this angle specifically for that. So every other angle looks a bit weird. Um, I think that's the case with Mary as well. And this is why they're a bit cheaper. Like, um, if you can only view them from certain angles, it doesn't turn out so well. So as you can see, if you look at her from this angle, her eyes do look weird. If I tilt her to the side, she looks perfect. So this is something to bear in mind with this figure, you will have to have her at a certain angle. Um, one thing I will say with her as well is that I don't like the way it's tilted. So I've personally just got some rubbers, um, erasers for US people, <laughs> and I've just slid this underneath essentially, lined it up at the back, um, and then slotted it on like so so that she's more upright. So in my D12 then she doesn't look quite as leaned back. So I will say that is something you can do if you want to. Um, I think it's about one and a half centimeters. Okay, so uh, let's get Celestia out of the way. <laughs> as gorgeous as she is, the main focus is this figure. So I will say, if I start with her hair, that there is some really good shading on this. There is like little bits here where you can see it's not quite perfect but it's fine as it is. For the price you pay, she's really quite well done. Um, there is shading, there is different colors of different darks and light browns. You can see where her hair has looked like it's gone underneath into the uh, the frame like lining, I guess. Um, there are cards still on the table, the poker chips. They have used velour for the table, for the poker table. And I, there is a good layering of the chips here as well, um, which is quite nice. I do think that having the velour is actually a really nice touch. Uh, so you do get the seam lines of where the table meets, but that's pretty accurate to how it is in life as well. Um, so coming down, we look at her face, I'm sorry. Um, as I mentioned, if you look at her from this side, she looks really good. Most of the pictures, and the reason why there was such an outroar is because people were posting pictures like this, She's not supposed to be viewed from this angle. It's supposed to be here, which is where you can see that difference. I think that's something you have to bear in mind with this figure. She is not meant to be viewed from head on. So um, I do like actually how they've done her mouth. 
the slight open thing, you can see a hint of teeth is quite nice. Um, coming down to her outfit. Now, Maethos is known for good quality for money. So what that means is that they don't put a ton of shading on their clothes. You can see a bit in the creases here, though they're also just relying on light for that as well. So I will say this bit of her jacket is really quite nicely done. Um, the same with her shirt. There isn't very much shading, but it works for what it is. Um, the the pattern on her skirt is quite well done. Um, I don't see any flaws there. And they have um, done the curve of her skirt to look like she's laying down, which is quite nice, especially with the way this flops down. And the way her legs and socks are posed is really good. And I will say for her socks, I don't know if you can tell, but the socks are actually higher than her legs. So they have sculpted that as well. And even sculpted a bit of her toe through the socks. So overall, I am super happy with what I got from this figure. Um, I know there will still be some people who aren't convinced. That's fair, everyone has their own preferences. Um, but I did want to point these things out about the way that you're supposed to view them um, because I think not everyone was bearing that in mind. Uh, so yeah, leave a message in the comment if you think that you're going to keep her a counsellor and you didn't bother to buy her anyway. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what the... Uh, the outcome has been. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this video helps and uh, I'll take some b-roll so you can actually have the uh, views from different angles as well. Okay, thanks for watching!